In today's video, we are going to explore our first topic. What are primates? We use the word primate a lot at Monkey World, but a lot of people don't actually know what it means. All of the animals at Monkey World are primates. From the chimpanzees, to the capuchins, and the ring-tailed lemurs. There are around 235 species of primates currently found across the world, ranging from the very small to the very big. But despite these animals varying in size and shape, they are all primates. So what makes a primate a primate? Primates are mammals whose bodies are well suited or adapted to living in the trees. The one thing that all primates have in common is a large, complex brain. Compared to other animals, primates' brains are bigger in relation to their body size. So let's have a look at one primate and one non-primate to compare. Here we have our primate, a common marmoset. Marmosets are small monkeys whose bodies weigh around 250 grams on average and their brains weigh approximately 8 grams. Now, if we have a look at a non-primate of a similar size, like a squirrel, grey squirrels actually weigh about 500 grams on average, which is actually the same as two common marmosets. But a squirrel's brain only weighs 6 grams. So although our marmoset does have a small body and a small brain, its brain is big for an animal of its size. These big, complicated brains make primates able to adapt to and live in a wide range of habitats and allows them to develop more advanced social behaviour. And it's what every single primate has in common. But a big brain isn't the only thing that makes a primate a primate. There are also six other distinguishing features found in primates. Primates also have one or more of these six main characteristics. A clavicle, opposable thumbs, fingernails, binocular and colour vision, generalised dentition and low reproductive rates. So let's find out what these things actually mean. The clavicle, also known as the collarbone, is what makes primates able to climb upwards without straining their shoulder muscles. Animals that don't have this bone can only move their limbs back and forth, like a dog. But if you look at young orangutan Awan here, you can see that primates can easily reach above their heads, climb upwards and even hang easily from one hand. Primates generally have hands with four fingers and an opposable thumb. An opposable thumb can be moved so it touches the fingertips. It allows primates to easily hold and use different objects, like foraging for insects, holding and eating your food with one hand, and grooming each other. This is a simple one. Primates have fingernails rather than claws. Although some primates, such as ring-tailed lemurs, do have a combination of nails and claws, but we'll get into that in another video. Binocular vision is when an animal has two forward-facing eyes on the front of their face, like humans, gibbons and saki monkeys, for example. The images from both eyes cross over, giving a clear image of the space and depth around. This is really important for tree-dwelling animals who need to have an accurate judgement of the distance between branches as they climb. Primates can also see in colour, which allows them to do things like picking between ripe and unripe fruit, or understanding visual signals, such as knowing to handle a pale-skinned infant chimpanzee with extra care. Generalised dentition simply means that primates' teeth aren't specialised to eat one type of food over another, as they eat a wide range of both plant and animal matter. Primates also all have one of two different dental formulas, and they all have at least one of the main four tooth types on each side of their top and bottom jaw. Incisors for gnawing, canines for biting, tearing and puncturing, premolars for crushing and grinding, and molars also for crushing and grinding. 
Now, this doesn't mean that all primates' teeth look the same. The size and shape of their teeth varies between different species due to their different diets. But we're going to talk about teeth and diets in a lot more detail in another session. Finally, primates have low reproductive rates, which means that most primates tend to give birth to only one baby at a time. The baby is born helpless and requires a lot of time, care and attention before they reach adulthood and become independent. So mothers also have quite long gaps between each pregnancy. To recap, primates are mammals that generally live in trees. All primates have bigger brains compared to their body size than other animals. Primates also have one or more of these six main characteristics. A clavicle opposable thumbs, fingernails, binocular and colour vision, generalised dentition and low reproductive rates. So now you've had your introduction into what makes a primate a primate, next week we're going to be exploring a little bit further with chapter two, primate taxonomy. So we're going to really look at the differences between monkeys, apes and prosimians. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.